To balance this equation, Na2CO3 plus CaOH2, let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have two sodium atoms. And then to make the balancing easier, the CO3, it's called the carbonate ion. It appears here and here. When we have double displacement reactions like this, and we have the ion appear on both sides, we can just count it as one item. So there's one carbonate ion here, one calcium, and then the OH, that's the hydroxide group, it's here and it's here again. So we're going to count it as just one thing. So we have one OH, one hydroxide, times the two, so we have two of those. On the product side, we have one Na, one carbonate, one calcium, and then just the one hydroxide. Let's put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide here to balance the sodiums. That looks like it'll also balance the hydroxides. We put the two here. We have one times the two. That gives us two. So the sodium atoms, those are balanced. And then the two, it applies to everything. We have the hydroxide right here, this OH. One times the two. That gives us two of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of counting these polyatomic ions is just one item when they appear on both sides. It makes the balancing go much quicker. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sodium carbonate plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.